What up, y'all? This is the White Magical Tiger. Back at you with another controversial video because the truth is controversial in this day and age where there's untruth everywhere. The church is gay, y'all. Did you know that? Did you know that the church is gay? That they promote homosexuality? Look at their holy trinity. The heavenly father is a male. The son is a male. The holy trinity is a male. Three dudes created everything. It's pretty gay, isn't it? Well, go to a church, ask them, is the Holy Spirit a man? Is he a male? Oh, they'll say yes. They'll say 100%. The Holy Spirit's a male. So the male Holy Spirit and the male Heavenly Father, they came together and they had a baby known as the Son, who's another male. And to them, this makes perfect sense. This gay Holy Trinity. To them, it's perfectly normal. But yet, they'll tell you, if you have a homosexual relationship, you're going to burn in the pits of hell. Now, I'm not saying that's the way either, because you just look at Sodom and Gomorrah, and Sodom didn't make it out that great. You know, the whole fire and brimstone kind of thing. So I'm just telling you all to use your mind and actually start thinking. The Holy Spirit's a female. She's the mother. Her name is Sophia. She's wisdom. Read the book of Proverbs, the whole thing. Every time you see the word wisdom, which is English, translate it to the Greek, which is Sophia. So read the book of Proverbs. Every time it says the word wisdom, you say Sophia. And it'll, it'll, it's a key that unlocks the code of the book of Proverbs. The Holy Spirit's a female, y'all. Every time in the New Testament, when it refers to the Holy Spirit as a he, go to the Greek. And the Greek says it's a she. Holy Spirit's a female. The divine feminine. The church is too much of a patriarchy. They think it's only a father. You can only talk about Heavenly Father. But if you talk about Heavenly Mother, you're a New Ager. You're possessed by the devil. You're satanic. Y'all, the church is lost. They don't have the spirit of truth with them. The real church is our body. That's the real temple of God. The temple of God is our body. Stop going to these buildings, y'all. They don't have the spirit of truth in them. They're like the thorns with the, the, the parable of the sower where he put the seed out and he put the seed on the ground, but the birds ate it up. Then he put some more seed down and it landed on rocks and the sun burnt it up. And then he put them in the, on more ground, but there was thorns and the thorns choked them out and there was too much shade and the, it just couldn't grow. And then he finally put it on good soil, fertile soil, and it grew and it bare fruit. Well, that first soil with the birds, well, that's a lot of the new agers. They got these practices, they're communing with all these types of beings and old gods and goddesses and star beings and whatever. Those are kind of like the birds, they're kind of like demons. They just like demonically possess you and you, you just can't bear fruit. Then you got the people that are the rock. And that, those are kind of like your Agent Smiths, like Deep Matrix people that are still plugged in. They haven't woken up to everything. They took all their hokey pokies and all their boosters and all that. And they're just 100% with their narrative. They listen to authority. They don't question anything. And then you got the thorns. And what's the thorns, y'all? That's the mainstream church. That's the churchianity. They're more followers of Paul, the false apostle Paul, the wolf in sheep's clothing. And they're thinking this whole thing of once saved, always saved, and by the, by the grace of God, you're saved by faith alone, and all this nonsense, y'all. Jesus Christ not once, not once ever spoke of a thing called grace. He said, if you love me, keep my commandments. Y'all, the church is lost. They don't have the spirit of truth. And if you start to shine and you start to really embody the truth and grow towards the truth and grow towards God, they're going to try to choke you out with the shade. The shade is all the fear mongering. You start opening your pineal gland, awakening your, your kundalini, opening the seven seals of the book of life known as your seven chakras. The spine of the book is literally your spine. They're going to they're gonna cover you in shade with all the fear-mongering, saying you're a Satanist and that you're possessed by the devil and that you're lost and all this stuff. And then you start to really grow, and you're like, no, I'm going to ignore you. they got to cut you. They're going to start cutting you with their thorns, y'all. They cut me up. They cut me up. So I got out of there. And Jesus Christ brought me to the good, fertile soil. That's the religion of truth, y'all. you got to have the spirit of truth. John 8, 32 says, Ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. May God bless all y'all. Align with the truth. Go within. Everything's within us. Amen. Eh?